In almost all Arabian Muslim countries, women's lives are often likened to living in a hell, burdened by the weight of religion, culture, and societal expectations. To gain insight into their plight, explore these films. Number 1, The Silences of the Palace. It is a poignant Tunisian film set in a traditional and patriarchal palace during the French colonial era. Directed by Mafida Tlatli, the film delves into the life of a young woman named Alia who grows up in the palace, serving the bay and witnessing the oppression and silence forced upon the women in the harem. Through Alia's eyes, the film sheds light on the cultural and societal restrictions imposed upon Arab women, highlighting the struggles of voiceless women in a rigidly hierarchical society. Tladley's work is a powerful commentary on the complexities of gender dynamics and the silence that often shrouds women's experiences in Arab and Islamic societies. Number 2, The Patient Stone, it is a striking Afghan film set in a war-torn, conservative society. Directed by Atik Rahimi, the film follows a woman who cares for her comatose husband, a former jihadist fighter, while revealing her deepest secrets and desires to him. As she unburdens herself, the woman's story reflects the silenced voices of many Afghan women, who endure hardship, violence, and oppression under strict Islamic rule. The film is a poignant exploration of female resilience and the unspoken struggles faced by women in Afghanistan, offering a rare glimpse into the complexities of Afghan culture and the plight of women in conflict zones. Atik Rahimi's direction, which earned him the Prix Goncourt Literary Prize, brings a nuanced and compassionate portrayal of women's experiences in a society dominated by patriarchal and religious norms. Number 3, Persepolis, it is a compelling Iranian-French animated film based on Marjane Satrapi's autobiographical graphic novel. Set against the backdrop of the Islamic Revolution in Iran, the film follows Marjane's coming-of-age journey, offering a glimpse into the lives of women in a rapidly changing society. Through Marjane's eyes, the audience witnesses the impact of the Islamic regime on women's rights and freedoms, as well as the resilience and defiance of Iranian women in the face of oppression. The film's unique animation style and Satrapi's personal narrative provide a powerful and intimate portrayal of Iranian culture, history, and the struggles faced by women under Islamic rule. Persepolis is a testament to the strength and courage of Iranian women, offering a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of identity, freedom, and the human spirit. Number 4, Mustang. It is a Turkish-French film directed by Denise Gams or Güven, set in a remote Turkish village. The film portrays the lives of five orphan sisters who are placed under strict house arrest by their conservative guardians after they are seen playing innocently with boys from school. As the sisters' dreams of freedom are crushed one by one, the film delves into the suffocating patriarchal norms that dictate their lives, highlighting the oppressive nature of traditional Turkish society. Mustang offers a poignant and heartbreaking portrayal of the resilience of these young women as they navigate the harsh realities of their circumstances. Denise Gams or Güven's direction earned her critical acclaim and highlighted the plight of women in rural Turkey, shedding light on the challenges they face in asserting their autonomy and agency in a deeply traditional and patriarchal society. Number 5, Circumstance, it is an Iranian-American film directed by Maryam Keshavars, set in modern-day Tehran. The film follows the lives of two teenage girls, Atafi and Shireen, who navigate their burgeoning sexuality in rebellion against the oppressive societal norms of the Islamic Republic of Iran. As Atafi explores her feelings for Shireen amidst the underground party scene, they face increasing danger and repression from the authorities. Circumstance offers a provocative and daring look at the challenges faced by young women in Iran, where strict Islamic laws dictate every aspect of their lives. Maryam Keshavar's direction, which led to the film being banned in Iran, sheds light on the hidden world of Iranian youth and the struggles they endure in a society that seeks to control and suppress their desires and identities. Number 6, The Stoning of Soraya M. It is an Iranian-American film based on a true story, directed by Cyrus Norast. Set in a small Iranian village, the film depicts the tragic fate of Soraya, a woman falsely accused of adultery by her abusive husband. 
The film portrays the brutal and inhumane practice of stoning as a form of punishment, highlighting the injustices faced by women under strict Islamic law. Through Soraya's story, the film sheds light on the harsh realities of life for women in Iran, where they are often subjected to violence, oppression, and misogyny. Cyrus Norasta's direction, coupled with the powerful performances of the cast, brings to life the horrors of stoning and serves as a stark reminder of the urgent need for reform in the treatment of women in Islamic societies. Number 7, The Circle. It is an Iranian film directed by Jafar Panahi, set in contemporary Tehran. The film interweaves the lives of several women from different generations, highlighting the various forms of oppression and discrimination they face in Iranian society. Through their stories, The Circle explores themes of gender inequality, societal expectations, and the harsh realities of life for women in Iran. Jafar Panahi's direction, which led to the film being banned in Iran, offers a raw and unflinching look at the struggles faced by women in a patriarchal society that seeks to control and limit their freedoms. The Circle is a powerful and poignant portrayal of the resilience and strength of Iranian women in the face of adversity. Number 8, Caramel. It is a Lebanese film directed by Nadine Labaki, set in a beauty salon in Beirut. The film follows the lives of five women from different backgrounds as they navigate love, work, and societal expectations. Through their interactions, Caramel explores the complexities of female friendships and the challenges faced by women in Lebanese society. The film touches on themes such as love, desire, and personal freedom, offering a nuanced portrayal of women's lives in a rapidly changing urban environment. Nadine Labaki's direction, coupled with the authentic performances of the cast, brings to life the vibrant and diverse experiences of Lebanese women, making Caramel a heartfelt and engaging film that resonates with audiences around the world. Number 9, Wajda, it is a Saudi Arabian film directed by Haifa al-Mansur, set in Riyadh. The film tells the story of a young girl named Wajda who dreams of owning a bicycle, despite societal norms that discourage girls from riding bikes. Wajda offers a rare glimpse into the lives of women and girls in Saudi Arabia, where strict gender segregation and patriarchal traditions limit their freedom and opportunities. Through Wajda's determination and spirit, the film challenges these norms and celebrates the resilience of Saudi women. Haifa al-Mansur's direction, as the first female Saudi director, is groundbreaking and sheds light on the struggles and aspirations of women in a society that often restricts their voices and choices. Wajda is a heartwarming and inspiring film that captures the universal themes of childhood dreams and the fight for self-expression. Number 10, In Between. It is an Israeli film directed by Maisalan Hamoud, set in Tel Aviv. The film follows the lives of three Palestinian women, Layla, Salma, and Nur, who share an apartment and navigate the challenges of living in a modern, liberal city while dealing with traditional cultural expectations. In Between explores themes of identity, freedom, and women's rights within the context of Israeli society, offering a nuanced portrayal of the complexities of Palestinian women's lives. Maisalan Hamoud's direction, which earned her critical acclaim, provides a rare and intimate look at the struggles and triumphs of these women as they assert their independence and pursue their dreams in a society that often marginalizes them. In Between is a powerful and thought-provoking film that challenges stereotypes and sheds light on the experiences of Palestinian women in Israel. Number 11, Offside, it is an Iranian film directed by Jafar Panahi, set during a World Cup qualifying match in Tehran. The film follows a group of young women who disguise themselves as men to attend a football match, as women are banned from stadiums in Iran. Offside explores themes of gender inequality and the restrictions placed on women in Iranian society, highlighting the absurdity of the ban and the resilience of the women who defy it. Jafar Panahi's direction, which led to his arrest and imprisonment in Iran, offers a powerful and poignant commentary on the struggle for women's rights in Iran. Offside is a compelling and thought-provoking film that challenges societal norms and celebrates the courage of those who dare to challenge them. 
Number 12, SWAD, it explores the conflict between social media use and the constraints of traditional religion, specifically in the context of a teenage girl in Zagazig. Directed by Aitan Amin, the film offers a nuanced portrayal of the challenges faced by young women in Egypt as they navigate between modernity and tradition. Through SWAD's story, the film delves into the complexities of identity and the pressures of societal expectations, particularly regarding the role of women. SWAD is a timely and relevant film that sheds light on the impact of social media and the internet on individuals' lives, especially in conservative societies where traditional values are deeply entrenched.